Parrot, parrot, come over here. We're lost. Wait. Is Parrot on our team now? Red Lobster, I mean, Red Lobster, god damn. The other British yeah. guy. Parrot's just listening. The one with the, the top hat. If you're gonna go to um, war, you might as well go to war wait, with a fancy are my top hat. Visuals fucked up too, or. Because it. Um, it said Hazard had a rocket earlier. Oh, I picked rocket launcher, I dropped it, so I wouldn't be able to use it. It's okay. just a war trophy. Yeah. From okay, one putting down an artillery. So you stole someone's rocket launcher? They they left. So okay, we're gonna sort of defend this little he, brick house. He's lying, he had a, he had a, a, a f thing. Yeah, that's why. They had to canonize around the rocket launcher, so I couldn't put We must defend this half buried bucket at all costs. Really oh, you're fucking me. kidding me, really? No, but where did you die? Oh, there. Right that, is the pro that is the problem I have with Bloodline, just people shoot from so far away you can't see them. Yeah, the problem is if they are That's why we used to have two officers so we could be able to see the enemies. Oh. It's, oh, it's, it's, a pretty, it's, it's a pretty hard gaming design decision. Do you make your guns accurate to the era? Or do you make them in balance to fit the terrible engine's limitations? Which uh, is why really reloads good. are really slow as well. Really, the person was had to get out the bullets and shove it in. Was there any more to reload in the mats? Uh, these guns would just take a second to reload, oh, can really like this. Life and smoke it. I think they'd be more switch in seconds. These are breach loaders, man. They, they just literally take a second, they just put around in the breach. Yeah, but there's more you'd also have to get the bullets out, so you'd have to No, No, uh, an arty crew would have a, a team of about five people. One person would be loading Tell it, and you'd have the train of people from the, from the actual no, I'm surplus talking about the Are you talking about the yeah, firearms? No, Look, I'm talking about breach loading cannons. You would have a couple people to pass along the round to, so that you don't have to wait, you have to go get the round, put it in, and you have another person just well, put it in. Well, well. Is that all the goons that are dead? This one landed. Well, got dead. Where are you, Hazard? I'm dead. I'm bleeding to death, though. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. At least I'm alive. Oh, Red Lobster's still alive. This fancy top hat. Oh, do, you guys, do you guys realize this is the, these are the shortest videos, but... So, are you asking how? I, I don't think if you put like a round in these guns, you're gonna fire it. This, you, you can't. I mean, that. I mean, the only way these rounds would be shorter is if you played uh, Iron Europe on battle. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> on a small map. We played that battle run last longer because everyone sat in a trench. Yeah, that line battle we did well, in Iron Europe lasted longer. Too, it was large size on, on average, on average, the conquest around Iron Europe lasts like seven minutes. A line battle can ask up to twelve, fifteen minutes in Iron yeah. Europe. What's about the players? Fifteen minutes is the oh, average line battle time. If you, if you were to play, if you were to play uh, Iron Europe on this map, I don't think it would last that as long as this map has lasted. No, no, it wouldn't because you would see them from across. The, you see their spawn when you spawn. Yeah, you would just start shooting. And you have 100% exactly. accuracy with no bullet drops. And I think Blood and Iron needs some proper um, line battle maps as well, which is another... Um... Uh, whoever's that goon still alive? Oh, great. Uh, yeah, I uh, crashed. We're doing another round, apparently. Yeah. Next map. Will